Three's a charm. It was fighting with me this morning. It is now 12.30, so I am two hours late. But I'm here, and I hope some of you will jump on. And I called this perseverance and the comparison game. I should have called this raw and real. Um, I've been focusing very hard this year on living with intention and also being very transparent. And today I'm being transparent. Um, today's a weird day and I've been talking with a lot of friends and um, what I'm hearing is a lot of people are having weird days. Not just today, but I don't know if it's a seasonal thing. I honestly think it's just the way things roll. Good morning, Mike. And I wanted to just jump on here and encourage you guys to hang in there and to persevere. How many of you are working really hard at perfecting your perseverance? I am. It took me two hours to get on here today. Uh, just, we all have circumstances. We all have hard stuff we're going through. We all have you know, there's some of us that have medical issues that are going on. And like I said, I thought I would be uh, transparent. Last week when I talked to you, I was all gung-ho. I was going to make jelly. And I was uh, foraging dandelions and spearmint tea. And I did do that. Uh, but it, it didn't happen when I wanted it to, which is okay. I'm learning to roll with that. But I did end up flat on my back all last week. Uh, after being live with you Wednesday, I wasn't feeling real good when I was live and it was progressively setting in and for the rest of the week up until yesterday uh, that I started feeling human again. Uh, my muscles decided to stop working and they, my neck got tired of holding my head up and I was in extreme pain. Um, had a lot of inflammation due to autoimmunity issues and uh, reabsorption of toxins as well as um, re-exposure to mold. It's really wet here and I was out hiking with the mountain boy and we've been hiking through some wet areas with laying water and I think that was part of my issue. So it wasn't just one thing, it was a bunch of things and I was kind of feeling like I needed to live in a bubble last week. And I think we all hit that point sometimes, regardless how hard we fight it, where we end up in that spot of woe is me. And I get there. I'm honest. I'm, I'm, I'm human. And when you get in that spot, the key thing is not to stay there long. And we all go through tough spots. Sometimes they just keep lingering on for long periods of time. And I wanted to just encourage you guys today. You know, right now, I think the mountain man and I both, it, it took all we had today to exist. And, and I know that we're not alone. I know you guys go through that too. And I know so many hurting people and struggling people. And I just felt compelled to talk about some things today. So one of the things that I always lean back on is James 1, 2 through 5. I love this verse. It really empowers me. It, um, you'll laugh. It makes me put my big girl panties on and grab those bootstraps. You know, it's reality. We all need that sometimes. You guys can grab the boxers, you know, and the bootstraps. But dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. Guys, we grow through every circumstance. Good morning, Michelle. And growing through those circumstances is so important. You know, I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wouldn't be for all the struggles I've gone through and all the good stuff I've gone through. It also says that, so let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. You know, guys, we all struggle, but it's it's where we go for our help. Some people... You know, the, the mountain man talked about it in uh, an inspirational video he did from the smithy last week that's on YouTube. You know, some people head to the bottle. Some people head to drugs. Some people head to the opposite sex. Morning, Ray. You know, people choose their vices. And I choose God in these circumstances. For the last two hours, I've I've spent time with God because that's my source of energy that's my source of um, 
functioning. <laughs> and, and that's what I needed today. So like I said, I'm being real. Today's a hard day. Today was a very, it started off good. Um, I got up, but I think the enemy was just horribly attacking and kicking me in the teeth. And I just kicked him right back. And I'm on here, I'm being real. And I know you guys go through the same kind of stuff. And it's that we've got to keep persevering. We're always going to have stuff. Exactly. Our struggles make us stronger, Michelle. That's so true. And and you know what? On these rough days when we don't have anybody that we feel we can go to, we can always go to God. Some people fight that. Some people don't see that as an option. And and I talk a lot about that, but that's my source. And, and that's what I want to share. I have seen so many miracles and so many amazing things happen as a result of him in my life. And I can't deny that anymore. And that's part of me choosing to live with intention. That's my intention. If it wouldn't be for him, I don't know where I would be. If it wouldn't be for my family, I don't know where I would be. And I pray that you guys have a source. If you choose not to go to him, that you at least have friends you can go to when you're struggling. And, and that you have inner strength, that you learn to have an inner strength that helps you through your harder days, your hard times. Um, that inner strength is a preparedness level. Having that inner strength will help you get through anything, no matter what it is. And sometimes that inner strength, you need to keep pulling it and, and drawing it out. Because sometimes, and I believe that it's the enemy that's trying to snuff that inner strength. Which leads me to my next favorite Bible verses. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that, so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the enemy at the time of evil. So funny. I'm telling you, the enemy is fighting me today. I was just spinning, and it cut off in the middle of that. So then after the battle, you will be able to... Be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on your belt of truth and body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from God's news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up your shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the enemy. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert. Be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Honestly, guys... These are two things I really stand firm on. I could have really been in a woe is me state last week um, on my back. And my, my objective was to persevere and figure out how to function and get done what needed to get done in my circumstances. And what's really funny is I make it through last week and then today kicks me in the teeth. So as you can see, I'm fighting back. But it happens, guys. It happens. We are humans. We are weak. We... We have these moments. So I wanted to really do this in my weakest of moments so that you guys understand you're not alone. So that maybe you have some tools to utilize too. Because we need to hang on to those things. When I was young, I didn't really focus on God and the Bible like I do now. But this is really, you'll find this funny probably, Michelle, you might relate. Um, Conan the Barbarian with Arnold Schwarzenegger at the end of the movie. I think it was at the end or at the beginning. Somewhere in the movie. It said, you know, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. I held on to that way into my 30s. That was my mantra. And, you know, if, if those are the things that you hang on to and that empower you to move out of your spots, hang on to them. You know, it's we need to find that inner strength. So find that inner strength. Now, here's something else I want to share with you. Something that I find a lot of people do and this is as a result of some things that happened to me over the last two weeks, um, both with YouTube comments um, from people that have opinions, which is fine because I have mine too, and also um, from listening to some friends, um, I wanted to really touch on the comparison game. How many of you compare yourself to your coworkers? to people from church, to people, f you know, all over the place. It's, it's a common thing. And I'm very grateful that I don't, you know, whatever made it happen for me, that I was able to shut that demon off in high school. Um, 
that's where it, it starts. It starts in our younger ages where we feel or are pushed into a place where we feel we have to compare ourselves to others or that is what's going to put us to a different place. Um, I don't know what it is really, but it's, it's, a, it's an evil, evil um, thing and, and oftentimes a cycle. And I just want to encourage you guys to realize that you individually have a purpose on this earth. You may not feel in tune with that yet. I do. I, I, I feel like what I am doing today and what I do in my writing is what I am meant to do, um, to encourage, to inspire, to educate. Um, but, you know, we all have a purpose and we all have a different voice. There's a whole lot of other people doing the same thing I am. And they might even be talking on the same subjects. They may not be as animated as I am. I see my hands flying all over the place. They may not have the personality I have. But they are reaching people too. And the thing is, in life, I think what happens a lot is people connect with people because they can relate. It doesn't matter if your hands are flapping and you're smiling while you're doing it. You have a gift. And, and whether you look in the mirror and you say, I don't like what I see, or you say you do like what you see, you have a purpose. And the thing is, I talked about this earlier in the year. We have to have a self-love. We have to be able to look in the mirror and like what we see. Be confident in what we see. Be confident in who we are. And I, I think what I have found for me is just not focusing on that other person or that other stuff or I just don't focus on that. There's also that same mindset where people are so worried about succeeding and, and being better than that other person that they don't see the benefits in taking people along with them for the ride. Um, trying to explain that in it like uh, like they're they're focusing on getting to the top of the ladder by themselves instead of seeing the benefits of bringing people with them in in um, in having the friendships and the growth of friendships and seeing that person next to you that's doing the exact same thing may even have the same personality may even have the same characteristics and instead of fearing that person that they're going to get ahead of you or they're going to benefit in life better than you, to just have that friendship and get there together. Like there's such a comparison and a competitive game out there that people are missing the point in life. I want to read Michelle's real quick here. She says, so true. For me, celebrating the small successes really changes my attitude toward our family health changes. We are blessed even on the day it is harder to recognize. Yes. Yes, yes. And to see that, to see that in the midst of things, I'm going to share a little something with you. Yesterday, I had to go for a treatment, and we always try to nestle all of our, our um, errands at the same time so that we're not wasting fuel and we don't have to go out too often. Mountain Man stayed home yesterday because his truck, the U-joints, went on the front. The Mountain Boys thermostat and went, and when they were taking that off, they noticed that the serpentine belt went. Our mowers are dead. They're not working. They're not running. Our grass is growing like Olympic speed. And what has happened in the past, unfortunately, this is a repeat performance. Our five acres needed to be weed whacked because we couldn't keep up with the beautiful sunshine and then the rain, sunshine, rain that kept making the grass just keep growing. You know, we're not alone. You guys, I know you guys have these circumstances. So everything's broken. I'm, I'm broken. I'm running to my treatment. My truck seems to be running funny. I get into town. Yeah, it doesn't, something's not right. Make it to my treatment, come back. I've been having a weird issue with it. They thought it was a vacuum leak, but it was something that couldn't be pinpointed. So synopsis, keep an eye on it. Maybe as it gets worse, we'll be able to figure it out. Okay, so... I get out of my treatment, I go to Napa, I get the boys thermostat, the serpentine belt, and I price the U-joints. 
going in there, I'm like sick to my stomach. How are we going to afford to pay for all this stuff all at one time? Okay, six ninety five for the thermometer, six dollars and ninety five cents. Serpentine belt I think was forty. The U joints were each twenty a piece. So celebration. I made it out of Napa under a hundred bucks. I was because uh, normally when our truck goes with the roads out here, it's excessive. Okay, so that's celebration. I go in to the grocery store to quick grab some salad dressing. Get in there, and as I'm pulling in the parking lot, a lady backs up right in front of me, so I had to jam on the brakes. I jam on the brakes, my truck stalls, completely dies. I'm like, oh, that's great. So, started back up, pull in the spot, get what I need, come back out, go to back up, and it's starting to do the same thing. Like, it just wants to fail on me. So, I'm like, I really need to go home. I know I'm not going to be feeling good soon. I run down to the mechanics who had looked at it and told me to keep an eye on things. He looks at things, I explain what's going on, because I didn't want to be driving on the highway, hit the brakes lightly, and have it die and have everybody plow into me. It's just not safe for me or anybody else. So he looks at it, $14.20 later, yes, my truck is repaired. So those are the celebrations, guys. I'm back up, I'm feeling good. Those are the celebrations we've got to harbor, we've got to hang on to, we've got to focus on. You know, it's the little celebrations, it's the little things in the midst of the heavy weights that are pushing down on us. You know, we've got some extremely heavy weights on us right now, and when you can see those blessings, when you can grab your bootstraps, when you can keep a smile, when you can turn that frown into a smile, and when you can turn your odd state into something beneficial, not just for you, but you got to think about how you're affecting the people around you, and that's something I always think about. And I also always think about, you know, I'm in this spot, my health is bad, but I've got a friend right now who is on his second round of chemotherapy. He is my hero. He is my champion. He is my warrior. He does it with a smile. He is the most positive, happy person I have ever met in my life, and I treasure him to death. And when I get in those moments, he instantly pops in my mind. I have two girlfriends who have been struggling flat on their back a lot of the time, too, with Lyme disease and uh, odd viruses that have kept them sick and in the ER and in excessive pain. They're my heroes. And it's not that my pain is should be diminished or less or thought of less. It's just that when we're in those moments, if we can think of people that are pushing it. You know, they those are those are people we can hang on to as our warriors and and encouragers even when they're not in our presence that you know my friend Pat as he's going through this, you know, and I think of him it's like dang, you know, I can do this. You know, it's just perspective, perspective, perseverance and not getting stuck in the games. Don't compare you know, when you're in a job, sometimes, you know, in life, we are dealing with sucky people. People who feel that their um, perspective is the only perspective. Dealing with people who, who don't know Jesus and may not have anything nice to say. In my opinion, those are the people that need us most. Those are the people that are struggling the most. And I feel the sorriest for because if they have the ability to speak up and just destroy people around them, they need help more than we do. And oftentimes we allow their words to just go deep into our hearts. And we need to learn not to do that and not to allow that. And that's where that armor plays a role. And having that breastplate on so that those fiery arrows don't touch and don't go deep. And just to be able to see that stuff, just as Michelle and I were talking about, being able to see your blessings, at the same time, we need to see some things for what they are. The enemy was attacking me hard this morning. I knew that. I pulled in, not to him. I pulled in to God. I, I pulled into my inner strengths. I got on here and used my raw strengths. I pray to empower and inspire you guys. That was my biggest fear for two hours of not getting on here because I didn't want to get on here and and um, not be a help and an aid to you guys. It's important to me. 
So having those powers and seeing, seeing, you know, that employee next to you or that person in the parking lot who quickly jams into the spot knowing darn right well you were going to get in that spot. You know, those are those people. They're out there. They're all over the place. They're hurting people. They are hurting. Those people that have nothing better to do than to slam you, they have a lot of arrows in their hearts. Kill them with kindness. Love up on them. You know, that's our job is we're supposed to love everybody. Good grief is that hard sometimes. Loving those people that have nothing better to do than to want to hurt you. But love them back and, and do what we're called to do and be strong. So find that inner strength today. Like, you know, Michelle, I know you and I are in the same spot. Illnesses can be really tough. My illness can be even, can be really tough in that on the outside I look really good and, and I also wear a smile every day and I push myself. I push myself to exist, to do what I've got to do and to get it done. But on the, on, on the inside and physically, I hurt. I hurt. Some days I go to bed at night and I lay down and I can't move once I'm flat because everything just hurts. And I mean, I have a high tolerance for pain and it just, it just hurts. And for people to see that, see me on the outside, they don't understand physically and inside I'm hurting and I'm struggling and I'm trying to fight this illness and just exist. So illness can be a really hard thing and, and, and we've got to, we've got to learn to, um, have that inner strength and to stop listening to all the outside noise. There are illnesses that people don't understand. I get emails every day from women that are dealing with the same thing I am and have gone from doctor to doctor to doctor and they tell them it's in their head while their toes are being amputated because of lack of circulation and lack of blood flow, which is a result of them misdiagnosing and not paying attention to things. I listen to these women who are single mothers who have three kids and they can't get off the couch. They are in pain all day. You know, I feel for these people and I, and I understand. And, and that's why I said there's a lot of hurting people in this world, us showing compassion, us showing love, us being able to pull ourselves out of those low spots can be so, so important. And, and just taking one day at a time. One minute at a time. My girlfriend with Lyme has gone to one minute at a time. And, and you know, we got to be, we, we know our strengths. We know our limitations. And I, I feel like I'm rambling now, but I hope that I'm, I'm reaching you guys. Just get rid of the, don't listen to the noise. Just do what you know is right. Know that you are good. Know that you have a purpose. Know that you can touch people next to you no matter where you are. And that when you are doing what you are called to do, trust in it. And don't compare yourself to anybody else. Know that God has gifted you with your personality, your smile, your abilities for a reason. We're not all alike. And there's a group of people over here that need you, that you will reach, that I won't touch. So don't ever underestimate you. <laughs> so I, I hope I've reached you guys. I hope that this has been encouraging and I've got to pray for you guys. Dear Jesus, just be with all these people in this world. We all have different characteristics and traits. Just empower them, bless them, help them to use them, help them to see them, help them to see your hand, hear your small voice, and just see and feel the blessings regardless how heavy the weights are. And dear Jesus, just bless them with your presence that they feel you, that they know they can pull into you. And Lord, just give them the people in their lives they need to help them on this journey. You've blessed us with so many and many of them are watching. And Lord, I just thank you for your blessings, your hand, and more so what you're going to do in our lives. And I just ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Okay. So
thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing in the raw and the real and, and be empowered today. If you are struggling, hold on, read those verses over and over again. I have links for them in there. And, um, I encourage you guys to get out and forage. I, I did get my dandelion. There's my dandelion tea. I'm going to be making my jelly. You'll find that video on YouTube. And there is my spearmint tea that I'm going to use to make spearmint jelly. Uh, I've never made that one before, so I'm going to see how that fares. And I have strawberries um, that I'm going to be doing jam or jelly with also. And I intend to put those on um, YouTube so that with a how-to so you guys know how to utilize that. Thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate that. I, I can certainly use prayers, too. As you can see, I am human. I am real. I hurt. I struggle. I'm human, and so is the mountain man. You know, we might live a life that many people, you know, wish to live, and maybe you're living vicariously through us. Maybe you're planning to live a life like us. But it, and when it comes down to it, we're no different than you are. We just have extreme passions and... Are, are just doing it and sharing it with the world so guys also this is this plays a role today too this was something that I shared a couple weeks ago Romans 1 12 when we get together I want to encourage your faith but I also want to be encouraged by yours so thank you Michelle <laughs> thank you and and guys thanks for joining me for those of you that are watching after the fact there's a comment bar below don't hesitate to reach out and communicate with me. I check it every day. And I hope to be getting better with that with my communication on our Facebook page now that the Academy is live. You can go to TreyerWildernessAcademy.com. It is live. Yes, I made it. I did it. I made it through it. And we are offering a free Bread Baking 101 class. And we also have our Skill of the Month class where we will be teaching all the traditional homesteading, primitive things that we do here. And we will have individual classes also on some of the... Not so common that everybody would like to do, such as blacksmithing, brain tanning, um, knitting. Although I feel it's a great skill for guys to have, not all guys are going to partake on that. So rather than give that as a skill of the month, we're giving that as an opportunity as an extra class. So guys, I've taken up enough of your time today, but I'm really glad you joined me. Love you all. Have a great week. Be healthy. Be strong. Persevere. Find your strength. And God bless.